So here's something fun. This looks kind of like a Goose Guy S2, but it's actually a Frankenheli. It's got parts from like three different helicopters in it. So it's got uh, OMP servos from an M2. It's got the ESC unit from a Logo 200, and it's got a Nexus on it now. I actually started out with the Neo, the Neo Mini from the Logo 200, and it flew great as far as the cyclic performance goes, but the uh, Neo doesn't have tally for the torque assisted left yaw, so the tail performance was not great. I mean, it held, but it wagged and did weird things when you unloaded it and uh, just wasn't happy. And the funny thing is, I put the Nexus on it this morning and the first couple of flights, it was the same exact way. And then I realized I hadn't enabled tally in the Nexus. So now that that's done, it is really good. I've got a little uh, Archer RS Mini on here, which works great, no antenna to deal with. And uh, we're gonna plug it in and do a fly here. This canopy is a 3D printed canopy that I designed. It's made out of TPU, it's unbreakable. It's kind of weird colors, looks like candy corn or a clown or something, but I can see it and that's important. All right, this is running the rotor flight governor as well. The tail is really good. I mean, it's as good as it was with the S2 flight controller, and of course the cyclic is a lot better. Where it really failed before was doing that. Well, that was me, that was not the helicopter's fault. Like if you did a pushback and did a right rudder turn, it was terrible. Left rudder was pretty good. This is with the Neo I'm talking. And then of course, before I turned on Tally, it wasn't any better. But with Tally on, it's great. Might be a little more tuning I can do on the tail, but it's pretty darn good. Pretty happy with the cyclic. Three, Whoa! Motor Dumped off. it. Flight mode three. Flight mode one. Ah. Just completely dumb thumbed it. Oh well. I'm sure that broke some servo arms. There's so many rocks out here. It almost always breaks a servo arm. Actually, it didn't. It looks like it just broke this little thing where the carbon is on the. Wow, did I get by with without breaking anything? That's pretty impressive. Let's just see if it spools up. And... Disarm. Arm. Motor. On. Look at that. Boy, these things are tough. Let's try not to do that again. I won't be surprised if that actually has a bent spindle. It doesn't seem to be. Tracking looks good. Still sounds smooth. Guess I got lucky. Usually it lands right on a rock and breaks something.
Not even sure how I did that. Just had complete brain lock. an annoying whine at this head speed. I might have to end up adjusting it. It gets rid of the whine. A lot more head speed than I need for the kind of flying I do, but Hear Chinook over there. And there's the timer. Fun little helicopter. Tough as nails. 